Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the Fragrance Channel. Scott Aromatical. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Man, you guys are in for a big treat. I am super excited. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I am joined by a very special guest. It is none other than Dave Callie from the Fragrance Channel, Callie's Groom Room. Guys, you've got to check him out for yourself because he is absolutely amazing. He is the hottest and brightest up and coming fragrance YouTubers there is. Guys, for so many reasons. First of all, Dave is so knowledgeable in fragrances. He is well versed. He knows what he's talking about. Guys, in fact, a lot of times when I have questions, I go to him for the answers and he always has them for me and he always has time. He is super knowledgeable. I love watching his channel for that. But not only that, not only that, it takes a real special talent and a real special gift to not only give you that knowledge, but doing it in an entertaining way. And Dave absolutely does that in a very entertaining way. He keeps you on the edge of your toes. He is hyped, he's energetic, but he's also extremely funny. I believe that man should be a stand-up comedian. He is absolutely amazing. Today, Dave and I are teaming up to give you our top 10 favorite niche fragrances for the wintertime. That's right, our top 10 favorite winter niche fragrances. So Dave's gonna do five, then when he's done, I'm gonna come back and do five. Please guys, go ahead and check out his channel. I'll put the link down below in the description. Please go on over there, like some of his videos, watch some of his videos, and subscribe to him. You'll also be able to find him on Instagram, so give him a follow there. I turn it back over to my very good friend and amazing YouTuber, Dave Kelly. You're up, buddy. What's going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Yo, Scott, my brother, thank you so much for inviting me on your channel, man. I appreciate that. That means a lot. For those of you out there that don't know who I am, my name is Dave. I also have a channel called Callie's Groom Room. We talk about all things men's grooming and fragrance related. Doesn't that sound great to you? I know it does because you clicked on the video in the first place. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. You know what? Subscribe to both of our channels because that would mean a lot to both of us, right? What are we doing? What? Come on, focus, baby, focus. We are talking about 10 niche fragrances. Now, these are some of our favorite cool to cold weather fragrances. I'm going to go ahead and give you my five. Scott's going to give you his five, or is Scott giving you his, and then I'm giving you mine. I don't know. That's all up to him. All I know is I'm going to go ahead and give you my five. Scott's going to give you his five. Let's start this list off proper. Coming in at the first spot, the fifth spot. This isn't ranked. This isn't ranked. I'm just giving you my five. Ombre Tobacco from the house of Daniel Haussier. Fantastic tobacco fragrance. Do you guys love your tobaccos? I know you love your tobaccos as much, or maybe even more. Then I love mine. What a great fragrance. This opens up with this nice bright bergamot. Comes across as apple. I get apple vibes from that bergamot. Quickly transitions into this apple cinnamon vibe. You get a lot of cinnamon within this fragrance. Apple cinnamon kind of creates, you know, there are some reminiscence here to, um, or, or a familiarity to Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé, which we know is discontinued. You want a niche version, a more sophisticated, less playful version of that fragrance? Boom. Here you go. Honey, tobacco, as I was saying, you know, that apple cinnamon thing going on. And then you have uh, that, that honey tobacco. Oh, what a great wear. Fantastic experience. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's seductive, yet sophisticated at the same time. This stuff is just fantastic. It is fire. Daniel Haussier's Ombre Tobacco. Definitely worth sampling. I can almost guarantee to you. Once you sample this, you're going to want to have it in your collection. It's that good. The next fragrance we're going to be talking about, you guys know what this is. It's African Leather by Memo Paris. This stuff is fantastic. Fantastic. It opens up big. You get a bright, spicy kick from that cardamom that lasts throughout the entire life of the fragrance. There's a lot of spicy character going on within this fragrance. You have these dry woody experience that happens here in, in the fragrance experience itself the whole thing outside of the opening is very very dry it really you know represents the uh the, the desert in in africa now I, i've never been to africa before but i could imagine that you know with all the desert sands and everything that it's probably a dry experience so they captured that beautifully within this bottle and don't be afraid you know if you're not a huge fan of leather like you like it but you don't love it as a note Completely fine with this one because, like I said, you're experiencing more dry woods. You're experiencing more spices, especially cardamom. Cardamom is big. Dare I say it's the most predominant note here, but nevertheless, this stuff is great. An excellent performer to boot. 
This stuff is going to give you great longevity, much like ombre to back to great longevity with that fragrance as well. But this one here, Memo Paris African Leather. If you don't know this fragrance, become familiar with it. Get yourself a sample and check it out. Memo Paris African Leather. All right, third fragrance. Next one. Rosé Noir from Gallagher Fragrances. This stuff is incredible. Do you guys like Oud? Do you want to get familiar with Oud? Well, this is going to be a challenging Oud, but I'm going to get to that in a second. It opens up big, bright. You have this nice apple crisp accord, which to me is like a combination of apple and cinnamon. Quickly, you are going to get hit with this leather and Oud combo. The leather here is lightly animalic. You have this Oud that has a smoky, skanky tinge to it so this is your challenging but wearable type of an oud so if you are familiar and accustomed to designers and you want to level up this would be a serious level up i i, I really do mean that and uh, you also have plum in here you have tonka bean but this is one you're definitely going to want to sample before buying um th this stuff is just freaking incredible it, it smells fantastic it's one of those fragrances you know i spray on my skin and I'm constantly, constantly going back to it because I just love it that much. And it's a great one, released 2021. Check it out. Rosé Noir from Gallagher Fragrances. I'm going to tell you guys, it's never easy to put a list together, you know. But I wanted to do something special, not only for Scott, but but you guys. You know, Scott's audience, right? Scott loves his gourmands. He he doesn't really hide it. He, he tells you guys constantly how much he loves his gourmands. So I had to include a couple of gourmands here. The first gourmand I want to talk about, got to get rid of that, from Montal, this is Intense Cafe. Intense Cafe is really all about this rose, this beautiful rose and this creamy, heavy cream-like vanilla that's in here. It is fantastic. You also have a hint of coffee, but personally, I don't call this a coffee fragrance. This is more about vanilla and rose and what that combination does. It's lightly sweetened. You know, there's a lot of vanilla in here. Like I said, very familiar, you know, reminiscent to uh, heavy cream. Thick, dense, heavy cream with that vanillic tone to it. This stuff is gorgeous. It's one of my signature scents for the office. You may not think or categorize this, think of or categorize this as an office fragrance, but the reason why I love wearing it, especially into the office, is because people love the smell of this. I'm constantly getting complimented and asked what I'm wearing by men, by women, People just all around love the smell of this stuff. It leaves one of the sexiest and most intoxicating scent trails that you will probably ever put on your body. I'm telling you, this stuff is just phenomenal. It really, really is. Performance here is great. If you're familiar with uh, Montal fragrances, you know they do a uh, big beefy performance most of the time. That is the case here. So a few sprays is going to get you through the day and then some with uh, no problem. So definitely take it easy on the trigger. Trigger boy, I'm watching you. So yeah, guys, Montel Intense Cafe. Definitely check this one out. And last but certainly not least, this one comes from the house of Killian Paris. This is Angel Share. Angel Share right here. Have you guys tried this yet? Did you sample this one? It's worth it. I'm telling you. This one opens up with a big blast. I just spit everywhere. I'm gross. This one opens up with a big blast of, uh, of cinnamon. You get a lot of cinnamon in here, but you also get this sweet, delicious cognac. It smells so freaking good. You have an oak barrel accord in here, so it kind of gives you the idea or the impression that this cognac was being distilled in these oak barrels. That's the essence and the vibe that I get from this. You also have praline in here. You have tonka bean creating this sweet facet to the base oh, this stuff is just another one that's intoxicating it leaves a great scent trail it's not like an overpowering or pungent scent trail it's a moderate scent trail but it's thick and heavy so you're really going to catch those people as you walk by and this stuff is gorgeous so is the bottle the bottle's great looking too it's just a great piece to have on your uh in your collection to display things like that but this is one that is a must try this is a must try. You must get your nose on this, especially if you like, like I said, boozy, sweet fragrances with a bit of a spicy kick with that cinnamon touch in there. Ah, this stuff is wonderful, man. Check this one out from the house of Killian. This is Angel's Share. All right, guys, those were my five picks. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Scott or did he already do them? We don't know, right? 
Scott, once again, man, thank you for uh, for having me on your channel. I appreciate the opportunity, my dude. Thank you very much to all of you that uh, that watched this video. Appreciate you guys also. Again, think about subscribing. I'll see you guys very soon. My message always remains consistent and the same no matter what. Love each other, take care of one another, and respect everyone. Thank you again, everyone. I appreciate it. Take care. Peace. Wow, Dave, that was absolutely amazing, absolutely powerful. Those are some amazing, amazing winter niche fragrances. Man, I got to get my nose on a few of those. I absolutely love that fragrance from Killian. That is amazing. Angel Share absolutely knocks it out of the park. And I love Memo Paris. It is one of the most easy to wear leather fragrances on the market. Both of those work amazing for the winter. And like I said, some of those other ones I really got to get my nose on. All right, guys, so that was Dave. Go over and subscribe to him on YouTube. Like I said, the link is down below in the description. Let's go. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's keep the energy going. Dave's energy was so hyped, so I'm here to bring the hype as well. Here are my five to round out the 10 favorite winter niche fragrances. Here we go, guys. If you know my channel, it is synonymous with zoologists. I love what Victor Wong is doing over there. They are an award-winning fragrance house. Now, they are not for the faint of heart. They are not for everybody. They are not wine buy worthy fragrances, guys. So I repeat, if you want to go over to Zoologist and get some of their sample kits, please do sample them out before you blind buy. But guys, I can tell you right now, this fragrance is absolutely amazing. It is none other than Camel. Look at the richness of this depth, guys. It's an extra de parfum. This fragrance right here is absolutely beautiful in every way. The presentation is so gorgeous, guys. It's one of the things I like about niche fragrances. Not only do they tell a story, not only are the fragrances amazing, but the artwork is gorgeous and these fragrances are made by artisans. So Victor, you're doing an awesome job, but here, I digress. Let me go ahead and spray this fragrance and tell you guys what I think about Zoologist Camel. Very good atomizer on this fragrance. Man, I love this fragrance. I think I really, really love this date note in here. There's really a nice dry fruit accord that I absolutely love. It's a bit smoky. I believe that's coming from the frankincense. It's also very resinous coming from the myrrh and the frankincense as well. There's a real depth to this fragrance. Like I said, it is so, so good. It's a little bit boozy. It's creamy. It's just, it's so nice. I love how the, the dates and the cinnamon blend together. It really warms up from the amber. There's also a bit of oud in this as well. But it's not that really, really like in your face oud or like over the top or medicinal. And I absolutely love this, guys. This to me, this fragrance invokes, you know, you know, going through the desert on the back of a magnificent camel, maybe going through a spice market, a spice bazaar, you know, the hot sun is beating down and you're getting wafts of all those different fragrances that are in the air from the spice market. This, that's exactly what this fragrance invokes. It is so good. I get seven hours easily on my skin. If you're really looking to stand apart, which a lot of you are, you don't want to smell like everybody else out there, then Zoologist is the house for you. In particular, Camel is so nice. It's a slightly anomalic, but it's not over the top. So you could definitely get away with wearing this fragrance. It is so, so good. It's unique, but it's not you know so unique that you're not going to get compliments from this fragrance. It is so, so good. And like I said, it's got lots of character and lots of depth. It's very rich and opulent in my opinion. All right, guys, next fragrance house is none other than my good friend, Christian Petrovich. He's doing amazing things over there, Argos, guys. I really, really love this fragrance. This fragrance is called Deny. It is so, so good. Guys, look at this. Look at this bottle. This is a painting by Gustav Klimt. It is so, so good, guys. I love how this was inspired by that painting. This fragrance is absolutely opulent. You can tell that there's some depth to this fragrance. Look at that juice. And guys, this house is another one of those houses like Zoologist that spares no expense. They love their attention to detail. And you can tell with every inch of this bottle from looking on the inside of the bottle to the crystal that's in the cap to the way the atomizer works, guys. This atomizer is pressure sensitive. Listen to this. So good. So you can control the sprays as little as you want or as much as you want. The coverage is absolutely amazing, guys. This fragrance right here, Denai, is one of my favorite pickups of 2021. It is so luxurious. It is so glamorous. It is so opulent. I'm just going to tell you for the sake of time, this is a patchouli bomb. There is a fresh, fresh lemon, gorgeous bergamot, so it's very citrusy on top. There's a bunch of blonde woods in this. 
But guys, the sandalwood makes this so creamy. So the lemon, the sandalwood, the blonde woods, and then that burst, that absolute burst of patchouli. So good, guys. Man, this is so opulent. You could wear this for special occasions. You're going to get eight plus hours easily. My wife smelled this and immediately was like, wow. I mean, and I, that's how I feel right now, smelling it again. It is so, so good. And again, guys, you're going to get all kinds of sillage. You're going to get a nice scent trail. You're going to get compliments. This really, really cuts through the cold weather. Trust me when I tell you this is so opulent and so gorgeous. That's right, guys. It's none other than Deny by Argos. Check it out. And if you guys want to save 10%, I have a discount code down below. So just check out the link, guys, and you can save. I think they may still have some bottles in stock. They just restocked. So get there quick before they're sold out if they're not already. All right. Another fragrance house that's synonymous with Scott Aromatico. You guys already know. It's none other than the house of Zaharoff, guys. I love the man. He's the man, the myth, and the legend. And every time he teams up with Claude Durr, they knock it out of the park, guys. This fragrance right here is one of the best new releases of 2021, guys. This is none other than Signature Tobacco. Look at this bottle. Look at Like I said, so far, if you've noticed the trend in the first three bottles of the first three houses I've talked about, their attention to detail is amazing. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to fragrances, that's exactly what you're going to find out with niche fragrances. They really like to tell a story. They're artisans. They're good with their artwork, guys. But they just really pay attention to the detail. Whereas a lot of designer houses, not so much. You know, maybe if they have a private line they do or a privé line. But guys, the attention to detail is so amazing. I love this fragrance. I love the cap technology, how it locks into place. So, so cool. All right, let's go ahead and spray this fragrance and I'll tell you what I think. Well, I already know what I think, but to me, this is one of the best tobacco fragrances that's been released in a really long time. And it stands apart. There's a sea of tobacco fragrances and a lot of them smell similar, but I'm telling you right now, this Zahara fragrance is so, so gorgeous and so aromatic. I love how tobacco forward this fragrance is. A lot of tobacco fragrances are really dominated by the sweetness and the spices. This is so tobacco dominant. And to me and to my nose and my opinion, this is a nice dry tobacco leaf and it mixes so well with that kind of spicy pimento leaf as well. It just gives it a nice dry arid feeling from that pimento leaf in my opinion. But then it quickly turns into this gorgeous opulent boozy scent mixed with cognac and rum. Man, is that absolutely delicious. you got cognac and rum and cigars. It just makes you feel like you're sitting in this fine cigar bar, you know, surrounded by the billionaires of the day, the millionaires. They're done working, and now they're playing, and they're talking about their conquests. This fragrance is so, so gorgeous. There's honey. There's vanilla. There's tonka. All that's in there, but it's not so in your face, okay? It's blended so, so well. There's a nice warming amber, and it's very creamy from the sandalwood, guys. What can I say? As you can tell from the poster, I am a Zaharoff fanboy. I absolutely love Zaharoff. And this fragrance is so good. In particular, it's one of the best winter fragrances that's out there right now. Absolutely love it, guys. All right, keeping it moving. The next fragrance I want to talk about is from Master Perfumer Francis Kirkjohn. He started his own company. This one is called Mason Francis Kirkjohn, and this bottle is called Grand Soir. Look at this juice, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, it's just a simple bottle. It's got some weight to it. This fragrance is very opulent. You can pick this bottle up some, somewhere around $300, guys. I do have a link to Bemba Fragrances where you can get it for a really good deal. It's where I got mine. So check out that link down below. Save you a little bit of money. And they already have some really, really high-quality niche fragrances for a very, very affordable price. So please check it out, guys. This fragrance right here, Grand Soir, is absolutely opulent. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the most cozy delicious fragrances on the market guys it's very simplistic in nature let me go ahead and spray it so cozy guys grand soir is really simple it's guys it's amber it's vanilla it's tonka it's benzoin it is so so amazing amber and vanilla combination is just whew, so cozy so delicious the quintessential perfect date night fragrance. Valentine's is coming up this February, guys. It's cold outside. Trust me, get you a bottle of Grand Soir. Your significant other is going to love it. This is very unisex, guys. A woman could wear this. A man could wear this. It doesn't matter. It is so, so good. It is so cozy. 
It just invokes sitting by the fireplace, getting warm, cozying up together under a blanket, watching a good movie, eating some popcorn, whatever the case may be. This is such a comforting fragrance. You're going to get eight hours easily. It's going to project across the room way more than the arm's length. People are going to smell you coming, but in a good way. You're going to get plenty of compliments on this fragrance. So good. All right, guys. Last but not least, we're going to talk about an amazing, amazing boozy fragrance. This is from the house of Nazimato. This one is called Pardon. I love the presentation. The cap is really cool, guys. Let's go ahead and spray this. Man, warm, spicy, and then very quickly in terms of this gorgeous chocolatey booziness. Again, guys, don't take my word for it. Make sure you always test. Buy decants, buy samples. You know, this fragrance night might not be for everybody. There's a bit of oud in this, but it's not an overpowering medicinal oud. But guys, the boozy, chocolatey, warm, spicy, vanilla coming from the Tonka, I believe, just so creamy. This fragrance really invokes confidence. It invokes opulence. Man, I love, love, love Pardon. There's a bit of cinnamon in this as well. I really love gourmandish fragrances, and this definitely checks off all the boxes this winter. I get about eight hours plus on my skin with this fragrance. Like I said, it's so fun. It's so playful. It's so flirty, and it really cuts through this cold weather, guys. Eight hours plus. You're going to have a nice scent trail. And man, this one really, really invokes some confidence, guys. You're going to love this fragrance if you haven't gotten your nose on it already. Try out Nasimato Pardon, guys. You're going to love this one. All right, guys. Those are my five. I hope they complimented Dave's awesome fragrances that he picked so well. Thank you so much again, Dave, for doing this video with me. It really means the world to me. You're an absolutely amazing friend and an amazing reviewer. So, guys, go on over and check out his channel. And me and Dave will see you guys next time. We'll see you down the road. Keep smelling amazing. We love you guys. Peace, love, respect. Ciao.